how to convert your Shopify website into an app step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can convert your Shopify store or website into a mobile app. So let's get into it. Now, we all know how fast paced everything has become and a lot of times creating your own individualized app for your store can help in boosting sales, providing you with more loyal customers, as well as increasing the chances that people are going to revisit your store. Because once they have your app downloaded, it's very likely they will just open it up just for the sake of knowing what's new and that can help you in getting more conversions, more sales and more potential leads. So how can you do that? Well, there are multiple different ways, but we're going to go with the easier route. So the easier route is with a plugin or application integration, which I will be doing today. Now, however, there are some API based inductions that you can make as well. However, those are slightly more complicated and for the average user or small business owner, I don't recommend those. So we're going to get started with our simple method. Now, to get started, all you have to do is log on to your Shopify store. Once you have logged on to your Shopify store, click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on your bottom left, you want to click on apps and sales channels on the left as well. Then on the top right, click on Shopify app store and this will open up the Shopify app store. Now over here, you're just going to search for app or mobile app. Now, once you do that, you will see multiple different tools that can help you in building your mobile store. Now, I like to use one mobile, the mobile app builder. This usually converts my Shopify store into a simple mobile app and it's easy. It's available both on Android and iOS marketplaces and it's one of the best that I've personally used. Now, they have different plans available. They have a free plan which has five different themes that you can add. You have some branding customizations you can do. Essential design blocks are present. You can add different features such as product sorting, filtering, and search bars. Then if you want some more premium features within your app, such as basic push notifications, image push notifications, native iOS and Android apps, you do have to upgrade to the starter plan. Then on the growth plan, which is $99 per month, you have multiple different themes and you also have drag and drop builders, Google and Facebook ads, product rating and review features as well. Now, although this is great, you do have to upgrade for the premium features such as your native applications. So I do think that there are some other free alternatives available, such as the mobile app builder by Mobi app. So if you take a look at this particular application, this is absolutely for free. And you will see you can get your store launched in a couple of seconds. Now, it really depends on what your personal preferences are, how much you want to invest in an app. So we're going to be using one mobile's mobile app builder and I'm going to click on install over here. And once you click on install, you will be led to the Shopify installation page. So you're going to click on add sales channels on the top right. And once you add this as a sales channel, you can begin creating your application. So over here, I'm going to pin this to my navigation on the top left. Now, once you do this, you'll be able to see in your basic dashboard, you have your app design. Then you have your app submission settings, as well as some other integrations that you can add. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on customize on the app design over here. And once you click on customize, you will be able to see what your mobile app is going to look like. So you can delete all your sections and then you have a navigation as well. You also have branding as well, but you will see that this is our product grid. Now I've completely made this empty and on the right side, you have a preview of how it's going to look like on mobile applications. So on the left side, you will see different blocks that you can integrate and this will natively show all of the content that you have. So let's say on the first section, I want a banner image. So I'm going to click on this particular block and drag it over here. And then you can click on the particular section and click on upload image. And then you can upload the image that you want to add. So let's say I want to add this image over here. So I'm just going to wait for this to be uploaded. And then I can also crop this image to better fit our mobile app like so. 
Now I'm just going to add this image and click on crop. And then you can also choose the image adjustment. So if you want it to fit, if you want to, you know, stretch it out, or if you want the entire image to be present, I'm going to give it a slight crop just to make it easier like this. And once I've cropped my image, I will be able to see it, you know, fit into our particular section like this. Now, after that, I want to add our second section. So this is just our banner image section. Now, after that, let's say I want to scroll down and I have Instagram sections, product grids, product sliders, as well as image sliders, TikTok videos, normal videos as well. So let's say I want to go on ahead and add a announcement bar. So I'm going to click drag and drop the announcement bar over here. And then I'm going to add my text and I just want to add shop now 30% off on selected items like this so after that you can also choose your text color and the background color so if i want to change this to a different color i can pick it out from the color wheel over here and let's say i just want to keep the orange color like this and then after that you can choose to animate this as well so if you want this to run left to right or right to left like this now after you have added your announcement bar you can scroll down and you can add your products you can add a particular collection as well so let's say i want to add one collection only i can add that but i want to add all of my products so i'm going to drag and drop my product grid over here and then you can click on the product grid and add the title and then i'm going to name this all products and then i'm going to choose the collection that i want to display so all of my products are tagged under the home page collection so i can add that particular one over here and i can increase the number of products and i want them all to fit and now just like that one page has been added and this is what it looks like it looks really nice and sophisticated it's not too busy but it still you know serves its features now I'm going to click on save on the top right and once you click on save you can click on navigation over here. Now in your navigation panel you will have your home page, collections list, products, and notifications. Then you also have a background that you can add in your navigation and then you have your branding. So on your branding you have your title text which I've added as Dear Den or you can upload your own logo as well if you have one. So if I have our logo it hasn't been added but I'm just going to keep the text as Jordan, but I can also add a logo if I want. You also have the header bar, the icon color that you want, the primary button color that you want to use, and a splash screen. Now, after that, you can go back into navigation and you can edit your pages. So you can go on ahead and click on add menu item, and then you can add a new item such as maybe a product list, so or maybe a external link, whatever you want then you can add the title so let's say i just want to name this to product lists and then i'm going to click on add like this now once we have made all of our changes you can simply click on save and publish and click on publish changes on the top right and then you can click on preview on mobile devices so you can download the app and preview how it looks like on your mobile phone with this qr code and then choose to launch it on your particular platform such as the app store or the google play store so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe